Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the review or look at the latest build of Windows 10 which is 15025. Uh, I'm sorry, once again the quality of the video will be will suffer a little bit because my main machine that I used to screenshot is uh, still not upgraded. There's a problem with the update. But uh, the other machine that I have has, uh, so I'm using a, a camera to uh, actually record. I'm sorry for a, a uh, lower than usual quality. So 15.025 was pushed on us yesterday, Thursday, February the 1st. Uh, Wednesday, sorry, February the 1st. And it is one of the creator's updates, of course, um, inside of previews. The install went well on this machine that I'm showing you right now, but it's stuck on my main Insider machine with initializing updates. It doesn't do anything. Now, I did wait. doesn't fix. I did the Windows Update stop process, and um, it, it still doesn't fix anything. So uh, I guess on my main machine, I'll have to wait for the uh, image files, which should be released uh, later this week, apparently. Now, um, not a lot of new things in this one because uh, Microsoft is now really getting into high gear of let's fix all the bugs in this Creators Update now. You know, we are about two months away from the release of the Creators Update. That means we have to get into high gear and really, really work out the bugs in here. What's new uh, in here. First of all, the install was longer than usual on this machine. Uh, usually it takes about 45 minutes. Uh, it took at least an hour and a half. It was way, way longer than usual here. I'm, I'm not used to that uh, being that long. But it did install. Um, what is interesting in this build? What's new? Not a lot, like I said. So um, you have Bry support in Narrator. Um, this Bry support is uh, in, in, in Narrator now. So basically, if you go to Narrator, uh, basically, you um, will have the uh, uh, Bry support, sorry, Narrator. I really need to, uh, I'm using two, two PCs at the same time. It's kind of a little. <laughs> so in System Settings, if you go to Narrator, of course, you have the on off switch. But uh, you have, uh, for some of you, Bry support. So let's check out here. Here we are. Bry beta. So this is for people, of course, that are um, blind. And uh, you, of course, have the download and install the Bry uh, module in Windows 10. So this is pretty cool. And it's to help uh, as many people use uh, Windows 10 as possible. And, of course, uh, this is... Um, going to be one of the um, features of the ease of access in Windows 10 Creators Update. There's also a new mono option in the ease of access um, options uh, to um, basically um, the reason why is uh, visually impaired users that use a screen reader application uh, like to have in headphones or earbuds that they use only mono sound so that you know it um, will cause them not to hear sounds that may be directed to the other earbuds but everything will be the same so it's once again an ease of access option for mono sound uh, one little update for the feedback hub the feedback hub has now been improved uh, one of the biggest complaints about the feedback hub by the way was the fact that um, everything was kind of, you know, pushed in there, here and there, and we just didn't have that much. Um, it was hard to find stuff and everything. Now they have uh, introduced the collections uh, in the feedback hub. So this is another option that will help people find a little more information and a little easier to find pretty much what you want. Uh, too many people were going crazy over the fact that uh, the, uh, the things were just like, you know, uh, posted there and there was no sense of having really any um, collection stuff. So, um, of course, like you see here, uh, introducing collections, 
A lot of you asked to merge duplicate feedback so we could build collections to do that. Collections will show in search results instead of individual feedback they represent. So basically that's a new feature and that's going to be uh, much more interesting when you search for you know uh, problems in, 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 in different um, sections of Windows 10 if you want to uh, to uh, you know try to find um, a, a specific category it's much, gonna be much better to uh, to find all of that in the feedback hub um, also talking about feedback hub remember that quests are coming there will be a bug bash tomorrow Friday that's gonna start for February so that means that you will have the possibility to test out all sorts of features on Windows 10 starting February 3rd and of course I encourage everyone and I hope you go to the bug bash it's a fun thing to do uh, it really helps the Microsoft team gets uh, get better uh, at Windows 10 fix the bugs uh, give your comments on what you like you don't like of every different options that they want you to try uh, pretty pretty cool for that also uh, one of the things that I have to say also here is um, that there is a new option so if you go into the uh, settings and uh, of course you had in the different uh, display options nightlight the nightlight options are now are going to be more complete so if you go into nightlight settings the color temperature is wider than it was before now going to the deep red which was not available before so this is another interesting feature that was introduced um, a few builds ago and to uh, reduce of course the blue light that could be a problem on your computer uh, so this is pretty much what's new not a lot like I said uh, it's mostly bug fixes so they fix tons of bugs and cleaning uh, including gaming bugs Windows Insider should no longer have trouble connecting to certain Google sites uh, extensions at Microsoft Edge are back as working as expected normally. Uh, what's else here? Uh, fixed issue insiders may experience where the network flyout would unexpectedly appear blank instead of list listing a Wi Fi networks. Fixed issue with custom color picker. Fixed issues where you downloaded a team from the store, delete it, and then download again, it wouldn't appear. Improved performance when using point erase to ease ink in Sketchpad. Uh, all sorts of uh, interesting improvements here and there. A few improvements of freezes that were in Microsoft Edge and so on. So big list of fixes. There are some uh, issues, of course. The one, one of the most important, initializing when attempting to download this build. Um, if you it may look like your settings stuck at zero percent, apparently it is not. But in my machine, it is. So uh, there's a few things here. Uh, so uh, there are a few things, a few gaming bugs also. Uh, check out the blog post from Microsoft. We'll talk about that more in the Insider channel. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. So that was my quick look at the latest build of Windows 10, which is Insider Preview Build 15025. And of course, um, lots of Insider stuff on my other channel. So check it out. Uh, we will have really a specific channel for Insiders there. I think it's going to be fun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this build and um, image files apparently coming this weekend. So if you are stuck at an earlier build and can't upgrade, wait. The image file will be available and you'll be able to clean and install with this build. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up and thank you for watching.